Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the HP Envy X2, which is one of the first Windows 10 laptops that has a Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, processor. It's not going to be available until spring, but it was announced by uh, HP on December 5th, 2017, the same day that Qualcomm sort of officially kicked off the platform. And it looks just like any other sort of Windows-style computer for the most part. It, uh, it runs Windows 10 S out of the box, but it is available with a free upgrade to Windows 10 Pro, as long as you do it by September 2018. And if you go into the uh, the device settings here, you can sort of view the properties and see that it does in fact have a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. This model has four gigabytes of RAM. It's available with up to eight gigabytes of RAM, up to 256 gigabytes of storage. Uh, pricing hasn't yet been announced. And based on the few minutes that I've had to play with it so far, I mean, it really does just sort of feel like a typical Windows machine. I've been told that the, the strengths are really long battery life, lower power consumption, and always connected capabilities. And what that means is if you really want the best performance with running legacy uh, x86 applications on Windows, you're probably going to want to opt for a machine that has an Intel or AMD processor, but that this uh, does offer decent performance if you don't care as much about sort of bleeding edge benchmark type specifications. Um, Went ahead and loaded up a web browser here. You can see that uh, Lilliputing loads just fine. I've been told that benchmarks, as, as of the time I'm shooting this, haven't necessarily been run on the device. But you know, it does. It performs like a regular computer. Seems pretty zippy. And in terms of uh, sort of those advantages that I mentioned from having the Snapdragon processor, it's available with up to 20 hours of battery life, up to seven hour, 700 hours of standby time. That's basically a month of connected standby time. And when I say connected standby, I mean that basically if you turn it off. Uh, you're not really turning it off, you're turning off the screen and it's still connected to the internet. It has an integrated LTE modem so that if you do pay for an extra data plan and you have an unlimited data plan, it's always going to be wherever you are uh, collecting notifications and background updates. And you can see here it does come with a uh, pen, supports Windows Ink, supports Windows Hello, secure logins, has a backlit keyboard with a fairly wide touchpad here. Uh, travel feels pretty decent and this keyboard also works as uh, a protective cover. So the stand is built into the keyboard and it's adjustable at a number of different angles between about 110 and 150 degrees. You can close it up and carry it with you. It's a pretty nice looking uh, stand. It's got a 13 megapixel rear camera that we're looking at there. Then if we bring it back around to the front there is a 5 megapixel camera. On the side here we've got uh, the SIM card or uh, SD card slot, a USB type C port. There's a uh, dual speaker or uh, microphones here up on top, power button, SIM card slot, and volume buttons, and a headphone jack. And uh, yeah, overall it's a nice little machine. Now one thing to keep in mind, I think a lot of people had been anticipating that uh, devices with ARM-based processors would be low power, cheaper alternatives to Intel powered uh, machines. That's not necessarily the case, as I mentioned, uh, we're not talking about the pricing just yet on this device, but I've been told that uh, my assumption is not off base, that it's going to sell more like what you would expect from a high-end smartphone. Uh, for instance, ASUS also announced recently their first uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon-powered machine with uh, Windows 10 S and a free upgrade to Windows 10 uh, available, and ASUS is charging about $599. I would expect this to be in a similar price range, although HP has not yet confirmed that. Uh, specifically. So uh, overall, you know, I haven't done that. I haven't shown you in tablet mode. Um, a pretty nice machine, uh, but you're going to be paying more than you would for sort of an entry-level machine, even though it might have the kind of uh, sort of processing power you'd expect from an entry-level machine. What you're really paying for is these always connected capabilities, the long battery life, uh, and also a thin light and fanless design. It, uh, it weighs around 1.5 uh, pounds and measures about 6.9 millimeters thick. It's almost more smartphone-esque. Uh, than tablet desk. It feels really pretty nice and easy to hold here, uh, despite having this 12 inch uh, high resolution display. I think it's um, 1920 by 1280 or so. Let me see if I can confirm that real quick. Yep, 1920 by 1280. So, again, that is just sort of a quick look, uh, first look at the HP Envy X2 with a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, uh, not yet available for purchase, but announced in December 2017, going to be available in uh, probably the first half of 2018 as one of the first of a brand new class of device of Windows on ARM uh, computers. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.